Shauna Rhimes, after 15 years, she decides to leave ABC over the most pettiest bullshit possible. Hell, she even caught herself out on it a little bit. She literally says, like, I know this seems petty, but this all had to do with some Disneyland pass, like pass or whatever that I guess could be like transferred from like, pe you know, person to person or whatever. And I guess it was like a mix up like where her like her nanny or something like that. And then she got it, you know, she got upset. She called up the executive or whatever. And somebody pretty much was like, yo, listen, we pretty much just gave you enough. You know, I guess she has this, this lifetime pass or whatever, like her and like maybe somebody else or whatever. She gets a lifetime pass to go to Disney World. And that's not enough. And... See, here's the thing. Here's the reason why I had to sit there and talk about this shit. Because, first of all, it really shows you what happens when you let money and power go to your head. That's number one. You let money and power go to your fucking head, and this is what you have. Number two, the media outlets that are covering this, you know, your Hot 97s, your Power 105. Of course, they're going to sit there and take her goddamn side. They're going to sit there and take her side because why not? I mean, heaven forbid we actually sit there and call her out on this. And the thing that really pisses me off about it, and I really hate, you know what? I hate to actually fucking say this. I really do. I really don't, I really don't get a, a, a kick out of saying this shit. Let's just be fucking honest for a minute. Let's say it was um, Sharon Stone or some shit. And, you know, the exact same thing happened to her and she was making money for the company or whatever. And, you know, she decides to leave because, you know, she didn't get what she wanted. Do you have any idea how many times that Hot 97, Power 105 and all those other companies would have been dragging her through the goddamn mud? But no, it's Sean Ryan. So no, we got to sit there and take her aside. And, you know... So she decided to leave after 15 years. I guess she's going to be doing something with Netflix or whatever. And, you know, people sniff to say, oh, you know, they, you know, she made them so much money or whatever. She made so much money, you know, they couldn't accommodate her. No, no, they could not fucking accommodate her. Get over it. Okay. You got a lifetime fucking pass at Disney World. You get money out the ass. And apparently that's not enough for your ass. So you know what? Bye. Bye. Good riddance. You know what, listen, here's the thing. She's not the first person to make money for ABC, and I'm damn sure she won't be the last person. And stories like that really fucking pisses me off. It really pisses me off. I just don't like, it's like you really see somebody's true colors. The fact that she's so fucking pompous with her attitude of, oh, well, you know, you can't sit there and accommodate me over my Disney thing. Oh, I'm out. Bye, bitch. Bye. Like, trust me. You're not that good. There are other people that can sit there and do what you do and do it better. Trust me. And can probably do it less money than, than you. But this is what happens when you get to a position in your life where you feel like, you know, the rules and everything like that just don't apply to you. The fact that somebody called her out was like, you don't think that we've given you enough? It should say something. But, this is how we choose to handle it, and these are the fucking sides that people are going to sit there and take. You know, you're either going to take John Ryan, um side because, you know, half a bit we bother to sit there and call our own people. Or, you're going to sit there and call her out for the, um, <sighs> there's so many mean and nasty things I could sit there and say, but, you know what? At the end of the day, she's a person that's just full of herself. She's full of herself, um, and she feels like she can get whatever she wants, you know? And because she's at that level, she feels that people owe her. And if they say no to her, then heaven forbid somebody actually says no to her and call her out on her shit, that's just unacceptable. So, yeah, I'm going to call her out on her shit. Because it was fucked up. Um, 
that she just hasn't had it to like that. And after 15 years, she's going to sit there and leave ABC because she didn't get what she wanted. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Most people in this world don't get what they want. They don't just sit there and just walk off in a fucking huff because they didn't get, you know, uh, whatever, whatever bullshit that was going on with her Disney pass or whatever that she didn't get what she wanted. Boo fucking who? Cry me a fucking river. Thank <laughs> you.